Okay, question 29. Got two coupled boxcars are rolling along in a speed V. When they collide with a collide width and then couple, if you can rephrase that, that sentence. So they're yeah, moving along a speed V when they collide with and then couple, maybe. Couple to a third stationary and box cars. So, we, so it's meant to be interpreted. You've got two cars that are coupled. And then they collide with a third, and they couple that third. And that the third box car is uh, initially stationary. And look at what fraction of the cars that sort of the first two cars' initial kinetic energy is transformed to other forms of energy in the collision. So I think there could be some improvement in the statement of the question. Um, so I'll try to draw a picture here of what's happening. Um, before and after. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got two coupled box cars and moving with a speed V towards a stationary uh, third car, box car. And then after the tree get coupled together. So that's sort of what, and then we're trying to figure out what is this speed, and how much, <coughs> excuse me, how much energy is transferred from kinetic energy to other forms of energy in the collision. So I think again the question could state, and I think it's a good assumption, but the question the question is to state that you can assume there's no net force on the system of the cars over the collision, so you can assume there's no change in momentum of the uh, three cars during the collision. And that's, and, that's ex and that's otherwise stated, that's a good assumption to make for all of these types of questions. But if the question were to be proved, you could state that there are you know, no net forces on the carts uh, during the collision. So I can use momentum to figure out what is this final speed. We want to figure out, in a sense, what's the change of kinetic energy. So we're going to figure out the energy before and energy after, and the energy does the kinetic energy does depend on speed, and we don't know that from here, and we can only solve that from a, from a momentum analysis. So PI has to equal PF. So what we have at the beginning is these are. Um, I'm just going to assume. Um, yeah, I think I will update the question and the state that the box cars are also the same mass. So when you see this video, I will have uploaded a, an improved uh, version of the uh, text of the question. But I'll keep the question the same, so it just, it's just keep easier to read, but keep the concepts the same. So the initial momentum is the final momentum. So what we have here is the initial momentum of the system is uh, we've got 2mv plus m times 0, so just 2mv. And this is going to equal some. It's going to equal 3m times some final speed. So we can go ahead and cancel out those m's. So the final speed of the three box car system is two thirds of v. So we can sort of put that in here now. Okay. Now we can sort of figure out what is the kinetic energy for what's the kinetic energy after the collision. So the kinetic energy initial is one half of the mass of the system times the V of the system to be squared. That's one half of 2m times uh, V squared. So that's just the this with these these twos will cancel. This is with m v squared. Kinetic energy after the collision, minus one half mass of the system times V of the system squared. Now we have a mass of the system is 3m, and we previously determined that the speed is two thirds of V, which has to get squared. So that leaves us with 3 halves m, and two thirds uh, squared becomes 4 ninths. Do some calculation here, so the 3 here will 
in, in this line, we'll leave this other tree here, and this two here, we'll leave this with the uh, two on the top. So k final n equals two towards n v squared. So the difference in the kinetic energy for delta k, in this example is kf minus ki, is 2 towards of mv squared and minus mv squared, which is negative 1 toward mv squared. So there's the final kinetic energy, and so that's is 1 toward, and well, it's 2 towards of the initial. So you've got mv squared at the beginning. You only end up with 2 towards mv squared at the uh, final. So we've lost in a way, isn't it? It's not lost, but it seems like it's lost. It is at 1 toward of mv squared is 1 toward of the initial um, energy. Or I guess uh, that's sort of in the phrase here you can think about um, uh, where does this energy go. So this final kinetic energy is not equal to the initial kinetic energy and one third of the initial kinetic energy is transferred into other forms, probably some sound energy, some deformation of the material, possibly, and maybe some, probably mostly in thermal in the collisions, so the heating up of the, this couple, and those probably some, yeah, so definitely thermal energy, definitely probably some sound energy, maybe some slight deformation of the material, and so in a sense one third of this mv squared initially goes into other forms of energy and then two thirds is left in the final kinetic energy. So the, the fraction that's been transferred is one third.